Welcome! In this video I will be unboxing my new network equipment for some home network upgrade which includes a Microtik router and some tools for, the, for some Unify wireless network. So let's start with the heart of the network which is this uh, router board 4T11 from Microtik or Microtik as some like and uh, well, let's just get this open so this is a nice little board with uh, quite some routing capacity nothing high end but it has the full router OS on it so you can really tinker with it we get a power plug, EU power plug, some screws for the desktop mount and the rack mount. Then we get uh, some manual and we get the router itself. So this router like uh, has uh, one SFP plus 10 gig port which uh, does not work with passive like copper DAC cables but uh, it works with uh, RJ45 uh, converter and then we have 10 or rather 5 plus 5 gigabit ethernet ports so there is two switch chips and the traffic between this and this part goes through the CPU and then we have some PoE in and PoE out. This is passive, like a quite wide range of voltage it accepts, and then it will it can put the same voltage forward. So yeah, this is this nice little equipment. Here we have a console port and DC in. And then also in the box we have two of these rack ears. So like that this can be, this equipment can be then, yeah, this way, rack mounted, nice, okay. Then for this Router, I have a PoE, well, converter or for the injector, so I can use this 24 volt adapter and then it will do passive PoE to the Ethernet 1 port of this router. So then I have a little bit less cabling mess around the router itself. Okay, that's for the Microtik section nice little metal router and then I've got uh, this Unify Flex Mini switch so this is like a really simple managed switch like uh, for now I don't have a uh, space for bigger equipment so I will just put this into this network closet so that's why I needed, needed a quick and dirty solution okay so here we have this little switch which comes with a quick start manual there is the switch itself so it's really like this tiny like there is really not much to it you can uh, either power it like with uh, PoE AF or you can just use this USB-C and it has an it has a adapter included Again, an EU plug, just a tiny adapter. 
for the switch. I'm not gonna use it through POD, but maybe one day when I will have a proper POD switch. So this is then this flex mini router or not router switch. Okay, to power my access points, I got two of these. UPOE AF adapters. So there is just 230 volts there and then LAN in PoE and LAN out. This is a gigabit PoE injector and it has this. Okay. How does this even work? Yes, so it has this little mounting bracket, but there is no screws or anything included, but it might come in handy that you can screw it to, to place and there is another one of this. And then like we also have like a package directly from Unify or Ubiquiti. Which includes the access points. Nice, nicely packed, and here we have the two. These are the Unify 6 or U6 light, so these are Wi Fi 6 access points. Like two of them currently, like the, it is limited that one can only buy two of these per customer. So let's pop these also open. And, uh, this includes no PoE injector. It's a 2x2 two two MIMO access point, Unify access point. So we have different kinds of mounting screws here. And we have. Okay. This really tiny access point. Uh, it's the same size as this Nano HD AC Wi-Fi 5 access point from Unify. So we, here we have this little plastic cover and this night Unify 6 is written there if the camera can catch it. And then we have a mounting plate, some quick start nonsense and this is the the one the mounting plate part which the access point pops into clips into and then there is two of these so I will come with more videos than actually setting these this equipment up but this is for the unboxing and here we are